Hi guys, welcome to my videos. So guys, today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can apply a transit visa of Canada through IRCC portal. Before I proceed further, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please go and subscribe right now. And also I would have to clarify, neither I am an immigration consultant nor I am a government body. So if you make anything out of this video, you do it at your own risk. All right guys, so let's proceed. So guys, uh, I have shown you how to apply transit visa using your GCG account, but now I'm going to show you through IRCC portal. The very first thing is to log in into this account and uh, click here. Now, if you want to see who needs transit visa of Canada, I have opened this official page that really says you need a transit visa if you're from a visa required country and your international flight stops at a Canadian airport on its way to another country, you will be connecting between two. Your transit through Canada is 48 hours or less and you don't have a valid visitor visa. That's true. Okay. So terms, condition and other things. Click on start application. Do you want to apply more than one person at a time? Like if you're traveling as part of a group or family, you do that. I select no. I'm assuming you're just traveling alone. What do you want to apply for? I select this one, transit visa or temporary, this one. What do you want to do? Uh, transit to Canada between two international flights for less than 48 hours. Tell us about what you will do in Canada, include date. So provide date and provide information about your transit. Okay, I'm just doing this because this is a sample video. When will you enter Canada? Just example, guys. When we leave Canada, next they're asking for unique client identifier. If you have, if you know, so if you have ever applied before to IRCC, you can use that here. If not, don't worry, they will create it now. And even if you have forgotten, that's fine. They will retrieve it. So it's always good to provide. Anyway, if you have. They have shown you the documents that they are going to ask, okay, and the information that you they are going to take. Like, are you apply, acting as a representative? I select no. Name. So this you need to fill as per your case. I'm just filling up as per my case. Oh, sorry, as per the sample case. Date of birth, I should select. Okay. Type of travel, so I select passport, regular passport, country code that matches passport, nationality, what's your passport or travel document number? Okay. Be very careful careful with this information guys a lot of people do minor mistakes then struggle date of issue take a passport for these dates are you a green card holder i select no uh, have you held a Canadian visitor visa in past 10 years? I select no. Do you currently hold a valid US non-immigrant visa? If, and if you select yes, they will ask for the details. I select no. Uh, are you traveling to Canada by air? I select yes. Country territory where you were born. And uh, city or town where you were born. Just a sample, guys. Are you resident of more than one country or territory? I select no because India does not allow dual citizenship. Which uh, country or territory or citizen of? I select India. I am a citizen of this country since birth. Do you have a valid national ID document? I select no, but when I had applied for. 
for the first time with IFCC, I had used my Indian PAN card. I had explained that in my client information letter and my application was so smooth. And nowadays in India, you get Aadhaar card and other things also. And again, it depends upon your nationality based on your local location, based on your nationality. You may have some other uh, similar documents or same purpose documents. So that uh, you can uh, use over here. No, and click on uh, save and continue. Have you used another name in the past? I select no, but if you have, definitely use that. What is your residential address? Let's say you live you live in India. Street address. Provide perfect, like correct information. Don't do the sample like this. City on town. Postal code. Is a mailing address same? I select yes. List current country or territory or residence. Then I'll add all other country or territories where you have lived for uh, the past five years for more than six months. So let's assume he has not lived in any country in past five years apart from his home country for more than six months. So I'll. Uh, just include India and if you check this box, this is where currently I live. Two will be removed. So we assume that he has been there since birth. So I'll include that information. Save. Continue. Fingerprints. Do you uh, have you given your biometric in past 10 years for these kind of application? I select no. So that means they will be required, like you'll be required to go for biometric. Okay. How much money do you have uh, for your stay in Canada? I select just. Uh, is someone else giving you money for your stay in Canada? I select no. You need to provide that information. Have you ever studied at post secondary school, university, college, vocational school? I select uh, no. Work at, like if you are studied, definitely do that. Uh, university, college, vocation. Because this is sample case. That's why I'm selecting no. Have you served in military militia? No. Give the details of your employment activities since the age of 18. The 2000 born to so 2018. So for last six years, they are asking. And unless you fill that, this will not come. Probably can work for occupation. For all period of gaps, you will need to enter an occupation activity. Don't leave any gap. Okay. So if you say ongoing, let's say this guy has been working since 2017. Jan work activity, what he was doing. If you're not employed, you can select unemployed uh, to. Station. Manufacturing. Uh, company employer. Main duties, provide duties, what you do. I'm just putting this because sample. Address where you have been working. Street address. City town. Okay, now this got enabled. So we go to the next step. During the past five years, have you traveled to country territory other than the one where you lived? Uh, you are a citizen or where you live now? I select no. Have you ever said kind of beyond the validity? I select no. Have you ever been refused a visa permit in an interior order to leave any country or territory? I select no. Have you ever committed any crime in any country or territory? With this include driving under influence. You can read this and answer. Okay. Don't hide any information. It could be treated as misrepresentation. You are a member of associated with. Yeah. Have you had a medical exam performed by an, an IRCC authorized panel physician in past 12 months? I select no, but if you have, provided that information. Medical background question, tuberculosis.
other uh, medical related question what is your current matter status i select single do you have any biological adopted and stepchildren i select no but if you have definitely provide that information when you adopted provide the details of the following uh It's about your parents. So I'm just adding some names. Let's say I add his dad's name. Other date of birth so is 2000. Let's say 1975. Country territory of birth present occupation so let's say he is uh, office clerk if i are same address will come to you with canada i said no now same for mother let's say his mother name is nancy smith relationship mother Let's say mother is from 1978. Present occupation, I'm just writing homemaker. Same address, yes. Come with you to Canada, no. What is your native language? Because he is from India, so let's say it's Hindi. Can you communicate in English or French? I select English. What language do you want us to contact you? I select English. Email address. Oh, this is very important. Don't do like this. I'm just doing sample. Telephone number. Let's say he has a cellular number, other country number. So the India's dial code is 91. Telephone number. Summary. Now you can check all the answers that you have given. If you want to make an edit, you can make an edit and and verify two times. Now documentation, size. So what are the things they have asked? Travel itinerary, of course. Document, uh, passport. These are optional documents. Optional like a, a consent letter, employer letter. Valid with a final destination, of course, that is gonna they were gonna ask. Additional doc documents and anything explanation, yeah. So explanation is always better to do. And once you are through that, you can click on save and continue. This, this will be enabled once you finish the mandatory slots. And then the next stage, you can digitally sign your application and pay the fee. So that is how it was, guys. I hope you're gonna like this video. So please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.